if you follow my channel, you'll know that I recently got back into playing guitar. Um, probably almost a year ago now, I picked up this Epiphone SG Pro. Absolutely fantastic guitar um, and a really nice way to get back into the hobby. Um, when I picked that up, I also got a new little tuner clip-on. I previously used a, uh, a Boss um, Floor pedal tuner. That got sold off years ago. Um, but I bought this little Korg PC one, pitch clip one. Um, really good little tuner actually. Very simple to use and uh, around about 10 pounds. Um, but the wonders of the internet, I got persuaded to try something different um, and something I'd never seen before. Um, I decided to pick up the Rode 2, um, which is automatic, rechargeable, tuner and string winder. Um, really, really something unusual, something I'd never seen before at all. Probably the only thing um, that I'd seen anything like this on um, was the Gibson uh, guitars. Um, I think it was their G-Force tuner system, all mounted in the headstock. I think it was a bit of a mistake for the company to impose that on buyers. Um, and uh, well, we know where Gibson is now, um, but this, is much more practical. It isn't bolted onto the guitar, obviously it's your choice to buy it, and um, it's really, really clever and really, really useful. Um, so let's just quickly pop it out of the box. Um, the packaging's really, really nice, really nice sort of apple feel to it. Um, it's a sort of a multi-layered uh, package. So the sleeve pops off, and you've got a secondary box with the sort of owner's manual and USB cable, which will pop out in a second. And then the roadie tuner inside there. So let's have a quick look at what's in this little uh, instruction booklet and box. So you've got a simple USB charger. Um, I've used this off a sort of iPhone uh, socket, so that works fine. And then the instruction manual. There. Um, the instruction manual probably isn't as uh, thorough as I'd have quite liked it. Um, I ended up having to um, use the app to work out exactly how um, you could get into the sort of the detailed and more complex functions of this tuner. Um, but it is pretty intuitive. It is uh, a simple one button push on. As you can see, it's gone blue there. Little screen at the top here. And you can select the instrument you want. And then the tuning. Whether you're standard, open G, open D, D modal, drop D, and so on and so forth. I'll show you that very quickly in a moment. Um, on the uh, app because that's actually a much better place to look at all the different tunings. Um, but apart from that, uh, as I say, rechargeable, got a little battery indicator up there. It's got a Bluetooth uh, indicator which comes up on the screen as well when you've got the, uh, the app running. And really, it's as simple as taking the, the tuning that you want. So go back to standard there. It starts off in the first string, uh, E, and then you basically put it on the headstock Give that, uh, give that string a strum, and uh, it does all the work. It then increments through the strings uh, automatically. Um, and if you, if you do want to go back and forth the strings, you can, uh, you can scroll through on the little wheel here. But let's just have a quick look through and check out the app, and then we'll put it to some use. Okay. We'll go into the app. And then on the front page, we've got various articles, help features, bits and bobs of interest. We've got instruments, so you can set these up with bespoke settings for various instruments you might be using. A sync function um, for when your Bluetooth is on. And then onto tunings, so you've got various different tunings depending on the type of instruments. You've got guitar, ukulele, um, mandolin, banjo, um, obviously we'll be using guitar today. 
You've got the options of 6 string, 7 string, 12 string. Obviously we'll go for 6 string. And then a dozen or so different options. Standard, Open G, Open D. And within each, you can then create a copy and further customize um, until your heart's content, varying the, uh, the percentage by which it's in tune or not, varying the key completely, and you can set up pretty much an infinite number of different um, tuning types depending on your needs. Just coming in for a little close up on the unit here, um, obviously the on switch on the side here, pop that on, and the screen springs into life. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there. Um, you can choose a guitar that you want to tune. You can add different instruments and uh, in particular, that's the easiest off the app. And then you're ready to go. Um, you can see that's the standard tuning, um, starting off with E. If you press again, you can change your tuning and you can pick a variety of different tunings. As it goes through the tuning, um, little bleep and a light lights up there, so you're no doubt that you've uh, got it in tune. A little uh, motorised key turner there. You can see it's got a sort of different sized wedge teeth on there, so it can pick up all sorts of different tuning heads or tuning keys machine heads, whatever you call them. USB, little charging light there. And I think that's probably a little speaker. Uh, so you get that bleep out loud. Okay, so we've just set it up for standard. And we'll tune up a guitar. So we'll just change the tuning now to open G and we'll tune up again. Okay, so you've seen the app and you've seen uh, it go through a couple of tunings there, all very easy to use. Um, the one thing I really, really like about this, the one thing which makes me think this is actually a fantastic little tool for a, a sort of musician or, a, or certainly someone starting out at least, is that it allows you to sort of pick out some unusual tunings um, and just give it a try. Um, without giving it too much thought, you can pick up an open G or anything like that, which I've never tried before, I've never had a cause to. And within seconds, and not much thought, you can give it a, give it a quick go and see if, uh, if you get any inspiration out of that. And uh, yeah, it's just a really, really nice little package. Very simple and intuitive to use. Um, lots of potential to uh, do very clever things with your tuning. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Obviously this isn't a super cheap package, um, 120 pounds this is RRP, um, compared to the little pitch clip that I started out with for a tenor, um, completely different uh, price points. Um, but this really does offer something a little bit different. Um, obviously it's got the options to uh, help you wind and rewind your strings on your guitar, um, so setting up becomes a little bit easier. I haven't had cause to try that yet, but um, having experienced how this works on tuning, I've got no doubt it would do a fantastic job. Um, the servo in this, which I, I guess it is a, 
what you'd call a servo. It reminds me of the sort of the, the, the torque you get um, in the steering mechanism of a RC car if you've ever tried remote control cars and kits. Um, very, very strong, very accurate, so a digital servo, um, very robust. So yeah, really nice, interesting little product and uh, hopefully something that you'll find interesting and maybe a useful review to think about if you've uh, if you're considering buying one of these yourselves and uh, yeah really good okay well if you haven't seen my channel before please check it out as I say um, interesting guitar um, other interests are sort of quality footwear um, boots everyday carry fountain pens pen knives that sort of thing cycling um, please check it out. We might share some other common interests. If you like this video, obviously give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribed and I'll catch you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.